think people have uh, an illusion of truth, that science, it creates truth. And I don't believe that. What is true is a journey of discovery, right? Because that is something that is changing. Whitworth provided me with the opportunity to study science, which is something that I want to do from the very beginning. In the process of that, to introduce philosophy and religion and psychology, to study science in a way that is impactful in a meaningful way in the world. There are so many challenges that we have to face in terms of the distortions that we have. Whether that's bias, a desire for something, fear for something. These are all ways that truth becomes very distorted in our world. Because we want a positive outcome. We want to see something. advances in biomedical technologies, what is the appropriate way in which we should wrestle with approaches that manipulate the world and manipulate human life in a way that is ethical and that is right? These are very difficult questions. We need these tools to move through those distortions to identify the truths beneath that surface. I don't think that before I came to Whitworth, I, I really knew that I cared deeply about the heart. It's one of the most fragile organs in the body. And if we can help protect it in the context of a heart attack or in the context of a transplant, that will help a lot of people. I work with stem cells, and I know people who disagree with the fact that I carry out this research. Either I have to come to a point where I think this is an ethical approach, or we devise a more ethical strategy to do it. And we've certainly done that in the context of stem cell research. We have established new technologies that sidestep a lot of the ethical issues. My hope is to find drugs or therapeutics that have enormous impact and to be as creative as I can be to identify those opportunities. And we have identified a peptide from funnel web spider venom that helps protect the heart from these types of injuries. Venoms are deadly if they're all mixed together. But when you take a piece out of the venom, you can use that in isolation for a drug. We are literally working with venoms for treating cardiovascular disease. It's ridiculous, but it's amazing stuff. As a leader of my lab, and as a leader in the field of biomedical applications and genome editing, I have a responsibility for establishing some kind of a reference point in terms of what is right and what is wrong. Whitworth provided me with my scientific education and my leadership education. I have to know the science and I have to implement those leadership skills to establish our priorities, value systems in my lab, how I engage with that as a Christian, and being able to defend the position that I take in that respect. The motivation that I have to study cardiovascular disease it comes back to this point where the good that I hope for in what I do, I hope is just a product of the thing that I love. I, I would never have imagined that I could do this. I'm very grateful for Whitworth and, and the foundation that provided me to be able to do the things that I love to do. I love it. <laughs> it's really, really fun.